let's let's get our warm up going. Warm up and mobility this morning. Come on down to your right knee, your left foot forward, and we will get started. Let's take a nice big sweep of those arms forward and up. Overhead sinking nice and deep into that hip. As you exhale, you can release and reset. We will do that two more times. Big inhale. What does she have? Babe, she has something in her mouth if you can grab it. <laughs> inhale, arms overhead. Exhale to release. I don't know what it is. It's Kleenex or socks, one or the other. <laughs> one more time. Forward and up and hold overhead breathing here for three. The joys of dogs for two. <laughs> And for one, forward fold, taking those fingertips down towards your mat, flex through those toes, come into a nice rock forward and back. You can static hold if that feels better for you, if you're feeling quite tight. But if we're just activating through that back of the leg, get a little bit of movement in there as well. And then we will all hold those hips right back. That feels good this morning. Take the right hand up and over top of that left leg, coming into a nice little gentle twist here. Drive those hips back. Oh, take a nice big breath in right there. And then as you exhale, walk those hands around to your right side, extend that left leg out to your half tabletop position, and then inhale, shoulders to come over those wrists, exhale to take those hips back. Getting into the inside of that left leg, inhale forward, getting into the wrists, exhale to take the hips back. Okay, all of the things feel good. One more time, breath in forward, exhale. Right hip towards right heel. Walk those hands over to your left. Got taken away. Okay. Press back into that right hip as much as you can. Get that nice lateral stretch for the right side. Take one more inhale there. And then make your way up. Switch to the other side, sliding that left knee down and that right foot forward. Once you're ready, take a sweep of those arms forward and up. Big breath in. Oh, that side's tight. Exhale to release. Again, two more times. Inhale forward. Exhale to release, taking your time. Do that one more time, and this time up to hold. Keep the arms up overhead, and or you can take those hands to the top of that knee. That feels better. Breathing there for three, for two, and for one. Forward fold over that leg. Dropping those fingertips to the mat, flexing up through those toes, rock or static hold, whatever one feels good for you. Ooh, both of them will feel good. Let's do a couple more rocks forward and back. And then we'll take those hips right back oh, to hold. All right. Take the left hand up and over top of that right leg. Flex those toes as much as you, much as you can. Drive the right hip back behind you. Take a nice big inhale right there. And then we'll walk those hands around to your left, extending through that right leg. Have tabletop position for the other side. Inhale, shoulders forward over the wrists. Exhale to take the hips back. Okay, two more. Inhale, forward. Take your time. Exhale back. Nice and slow. Last time, inhale forward. Exhale back. Left hip towards left heel. Hold that. Walk the hands over to your right. Left fingertips, fingertips wiggle a little bit further forward. Getting that nice stretch through that left lat. Pressing into that left hip. That should feel glorious. Take one more inhale. Right there, and then make your way up to tabletop. Okay, spread those fingers nice and wide. Tuck or untuck the toes, your choice. Coming into a couple of cat and cows here. Just warming up the spine, noticing how that low back is feeling this morning. Take a nice inhale to lift the gaze and tail. Exhale to tuck and round. Okay, going at your own pace for this. And if there's anywhere where you would like to take a pause, meaning if cat feels really, really good when you're tucked up, Stay there. If cow feels really, really nice, stay there. Or if you just want to move, do that too. All of the options are endless. As always, give yourself one more if you are moving. <coughs> Excuse me. Big breath in, then exhale to round. From here, once you are ready, walk those hands slightly further forward, tuck the toes at the back, lift the hips up and back to a nice down dog. All oh, the first down dog always feels nice. You can give yourself a nice little pedal, or if it's just a static down dog feels good. Stretching through the backs of the legs, opening up those shoulders. And when you're ready from there, we'll take a nice big step forward with that right foot, lower that left knee down onto the left toes at the back. Take a sweep of the right arm, lift it up and open, getting into the chest and the shoulder here, as well as getting into your hips, making sure that right foot stays flat to the floor as you make the rotations. Lift up and open on the breath in. Exhale to rapid reach. We'll give that ourselves one more there. 
breath in to open it up. Okay, the hippies today, exhale to wrap and reach. And we have a lot of glute work today. Right hand comes back to your mat, left toes tuck. Step the right foot back to meet the left back in your down dog. A nice little pause there. Go for a walk if you would like. <laughs> Meaning pedaling it out. <laughs> Not for a real walk. Big step forward with the left side. Right knee lowers down, right toes and tuck. Take a sweep of the left arm. Open it up. Keep that left knee away from the center of the body. You're trying to open up from that hip. Getting a nice external rotation. Inhale to open up. Exhale to wrap and reach. Do that one more time. Big breath in, open it up. So good, exhale, wrap and reach. From there, once you've completed those three, left hand comes back to your mat, right toes tuck, pivot around into your nice wide straddle. All right, <clears throat> from here, we will take it to left and right, coming into your lateral lunges, walking those fingertips along the mat. You can also give that elbow a little nudge to the inside of that knee to help with that external rotation, getting into the hips. Keep going from left to right for three, for two. Oh, that feels good for one. Center straddle when you are ready. Heel toe goes feet to your squat stance and then sit those hips right low into your nice deep squat. Take the elbows to the inside of those knees, hands to prayer or hands to fists, your choice. Breathing here. Oh, enjoy that for a nice little hip opener. <clears throat> Take one more inhale. And then exhale, release forward, fold over those legs, heel toe those feet now to hip distance apart. You are in your forward fold, little, little sway from side to side if that feels good. You can take the hands behind the legs. Being upside down makes me more congested, so we're not going to stay here too long. <laughs> we'll micro bend those knees, tuck the tail, and then when you're ready, roll yourself up nice and slow to the top. Okay. Once you are there, we'll take ourselves into sumo squat stance. Please turn those toes out nice and wide. Sit into your sumo squat, give yourself a nice lateral reach <clears throat> from right to left. All right, sumo squat, and then lateral reach side to side, getting into those obliques, <sighs> getting into those hips from your sumo squat. That feels really nice this morning. Keep going there for three, for two. And for one, all right, coming into the backs of those legs and into those shoulders, heel comes forward, hips go back, sweep those arms all the way around into a nice big circle, getting into chest, shoulders, all of the things, alternating what heel comes forward, pressing those hips back with the flat back. Oh, and you can even just hang out there for a second if the backs of the legs are quite tight before you do your arm circle, that always feels good. Breathing there, keep moving for three. For two and for one. March, jog, high knee. Where are you today? I'll take it into a slow little light jog. You might be getting those knees up. Well, let's get the body warmed up. Today is Pilates, so it's all lower intensity, but intense. <laughs> okay, take the heels to the back now or into those backs of those legs. Good. We're going to come down into a plank position with our feet nice and wide, coming into a nice slow shoulder tap, activating core. If those wrists are feeling that, you can drop to the knees if you need to, tap right, tap left. Nice strong core, trying to keep those hips as still as you can. Keep going there for three, for two, and for one. All right. We are going to call that warm up. So we do stay on time and get lots of the workout in. All right, team, options here. You can add weights today. I'm gonna go all body weight. You will feel it with just body weight, but I know some of you eager viewers out there love to add weights. We will add in a band towards the end, so just have that handy if you need to grab that as well. All right, we've got a big circuit to get through. We're gonna go all left side, all right side, and then all left side again, all right side. So this one's gonna go through four times two per side. Lots of fun things coming up. Let's not go through it to save time. Let's go right to it. So I'm gonna tell you, you have a curtsy lunge with a lateral leg lift. If you are adding weight, you can hold one weight at your chest or one in the left hand. We're gonna have the left foot forward. We're gonna come into a curtsy lunge into a lateral leg lift. One, two at the top of that leg lift. Curtsy, one, two. Now, making sure those shoulders stay stacked over those hips. Let's get started, three, two, one, let's go. So body weight or one weight at your chest. You can interlace the hands. One, two, leg lift, control that with balance. Try to come right from your curtsy. 
right into your lateral leg lift. Once you at the top of that leg lift, do not lean those shoulders. They stay stacked over those hips. Ah, getting into the hips, getting into that left leg for the curtsy. One, two at the top, curtsy it back. One, two at the top, curtsy it back. Trying to keep that weight into the left leg as much as possible. And then we're getting into the adductor on the right side. All right, we still have 15 seconds here. Okay, I'm gonna be dying through this one. <laughs> you guys can keep working hard. I'll be taking some good little rests through this morning. Keep going for five. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. Four, three. We're coming into our curtsy to pulse. Two and one. Come into your curtsy, hang out nice and low. Slow pulses, slow pulses. Shift your weight into that left leg as much as you can. So that's more of a forward weight distribution. We don't want to be into those right toes at the back. We're going to hang out and pulse here for 10 more seconds. Then we're going to stand and we're going to pulse that right leg lift for 20 seconds. Three. Ooh, that feels good through that left hip. And good. Two. One. Stand on up right away. Ha! Ah, pulse that leg. Pulse that leg. Keep the shoulders right over those hips. If you find yourself leaning, that is cheating. Does not matter how high that leg is, okay? You can have it low towards that floor. Just keep pulsing it. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, come into your tabletop position. Come on down. We're working left side here, okay? Left side is working. We're coming into, what are we coming into? Knee comes in towards chest, round through the shoulders. Kick the leg back, extension. Press into that heel. Knee comes in, press back, heel. All right, I want you to think of glute and core here. So as the knee drives in towards the chest, think of what's happening. Round through the back, pull the abs in, press the heel back. Think of activating through the glute to press the heel. In and out, in and out. Okay, where are we at? Try to follow along here. We got lots going on. Okay, and we are good. Knee comes in, squeeze through that core, press it back, extend. Make sure you're getting full extension in that leg. We're gonna hold back that extension in four, three, two, and one. Press back into that heel, pulse that leg. All right, make sure the toes are flexed. Make sure you're lifting from the glute, not the low back. Little pulses, like two, three inch movement. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Really activate through that glute. You just start to feel that very soon. Okay, we're almost there. We have five, four, three, two. Come on down to your right forearm, right knee, side plank. All right, little modifier. You're gonna take that right, left, sorry, left foot forward. Big wrap around to the back. So this is kind of like a side rainbow. Big tap forward, big tap back. Now you're also working your right side here. Glute hip and core. Oh, back and around, tap, back and around, tap. Feeling that through the right side, probably more than the left. No problem, keep going. Tap forward, tap back, we have five, four, Three, two, stay in your side plank, reach your left arm overhead, elbow to knee, extend. Elbow to knee, extend. Getting a little bit more core here, staying high off of that right hip. So as you drive that knee to elbow, try to maintain. Woo the other side's gonna be even harder. Elbow to knee for five, extend four, three, two, one, come on back up. Oh my goodness, we have the other side to do. Option to grab a weight if you want. Right foot forward, left is gonna curtsy behind you. We come standing tall. Oops, one, two, balance that. One, two, oh God, <laughs> one, two. I still have C legs apparently. I can't use that excuse anymore because it's been over a week. Don't know how long it actually lasts. My sister said it's still going for her. I feel like this side is terrible for me, okay. Curtsy back. Remember, you have the option to hold one weight on the right side. Option to hold a weight at your chest. Curtsy, left foot hooks back, left leg lift, pulse one, two at the top. All right, who joined in there? I saw someone jump in. There's Melinda, good morning. Okay, so you're curtsying back, right foot is forward, come into that lateral leg lift. Don't lean your shoulders, don't lean your shoulders. Option to hold a weight at your chest if you wanna add in weight. Double leg lift out to the side. Nice, Matt. 
Amadeus is very into Pilates today. <laughs> Over with Matt, Matt's, or not Matt, Phillips, Cat uh, is a very Matt, <laughs> Matt magnet today. Okay, curtsy it back. Oh, lateral lift, keep the shoulders square to those hips for that leg lift. We have five, four, three. We're coming into our curtsy pulse, two, one. Reverse that left leg back in behind you. Curtsy, low pulse. You can take those hands to the hips, slow and low. If you're bouncing, you're doing nothing. Take your time. Maybe you're holding that weight still at your chest. Maybe the hands are interlaced. Maybe you're just hanging out. Keep going there. Stay as low as you can and as slow as you can. Four, three, two. Come on up, stand right away. Lift that leg. Maybe you're still holding that weight. Remember, this is slow. Little, for his brace, we're not leaning. I am a little bit because my balance is terrible for this side. Wow, okay, keep going. Four, we're coming into tabletop next. Three, two, one. Make your way down to table. Spread those fingers, left knee stays down, right knee comes into chest, round. Kick and extend through that glute and leg. Okay, round it in, press it back. Round it in it back. We want that full leg extension. If you don't feel that knee locking out, press into that heel even more and think of really lifting in through that glute. Try not to dump into the low back too much. You might a little bit. That's okay. Get that leg lift nice and high. Flex on the extension. You can point the toe as you round in to really activate through that core. We have five, four, three, two. Hold it out. Flex through those toes, pulse that heel, up and down, up and down. Okay, fully lock up that leg. If your leg is like half bent, you're not getting that full extension, that full activation in through that glute. Keep pulsing there. We have four, three, two, one. Left side plank. All right, we come into that little rainbow. If you need to, you can keep that left hip down as you tap the toes behind you, tap the toes in front, if you're good, you could come up onto that forearm and onto that left knee. Remember, you're working both sides here. Movement on the right leg as you tap forward and back. From here, we go into our extension to elbow to knee. Coming up in five. Keep tapping. Make that arch nice and big. Four, three, two. Extend that right arm. Okay. Knee to elbow. Reach and extend. Making sure that shoulder is over top of the elbow, please. Protecting that left shoulder, elbow to knee, fully extend. Keep that up. Knee to elbow, extend. Okay, we have five, four, three, two, and time. Rest water team. Okay, so we are going through that one more time. Oh, one more time, right side, left side. It is more of a speed round. We don't do the full length because we have so much more coming up. <laughs> Quick sip of water if you need it. We come right back to the left side curtsy. Curtsy to lateral leg lift. Double pump at the leg lift. Pulling a weight if you want. Left foot forward. When you are ready, you can get started. One, two on the right side. Left foot is forward. Right hips back. One, two. Curtsy it back. Weighted is the option. All of today can be done body weight. You will still be feeling that heat. Okay. One, two at the top. Curtsy back. One, two at the top. Curtsy back. This is a shorter route. You were only here for 10 more seconds. We come into that curtsy pulse in five, four, three, two. Curtsy pulse. All right, curtsy pulse. Let's go. 10 seconds right here. 10 seconds for your leg lift. Okay, we're feeling that now. Four, three, two. Lateral leg lift, stand and lift, pulse. Little movement, 10 seconds. Oh, we're coming down into tabletop in three, two, one. Left knee is down, right leg is moving. Is that right? No, right knee is down. Oh, shoot. Right knee is down, left leg is moving. Okay, left knee in, press it back. Sorry, I was getting my lefts and rights confused. In and out with that leg, left knee into the chest. Shh. Kick it back, extend through that heel. Five, four, three. Two, hold that leg back in extension, pulse that heel, pulse that heel. Oh, really feeling that through the glutes. 
Get that full leg lock out. Lift and pulse from that glute. Four, three, two. Come on down to the right forearm. Option to lower that right hip. We be side rainbows. Left to right, toes come forward. Kick it back. Tap it forward. Tap it back. All right, it is not high intensity. I feel like, what is my, okay, I'm not too bad. <laughs> Just breathing very heavy. <laughs> Three, two, one. Left arm reaches overhead, elbow to knee. Extend hand and arm, hand and arm. Arm and leg, <laughs> in and out, let's go. Let's go, in and out. Four, three, two, one. Other side, make your way back up right away. Right foot forward, we curtsy back with the left. Grabbing that weight, if you would like. One, two at the top, this side. Balance, not good. Okay, curtsy, ah, oh, lateral leg lift. We should be feeling those glutes firing up here. Take it into your curtsy. Take it into your lateral leg lift. Double pulse at the top of that leg lift. Do not lean those shoulders. Give it a one, two at the top. And those legs are locked out as much as you can. Think of hip and glute. Four, three, two. Take it into your curtsy. Pulse low and slow there. 10 seconds. You got this, Terry Ann. Let's go. Stay low and slow. Curtsy pulse. Low, slow. Four, three. Two, lateral leg lift, pulse there, 10 seconds, go into it right away. No feet should come to that floor, let's go. Pulse and pulse, five, nice job. Four, three, two, and one. Come on down to your mat, all right. Right knee comes in, we kick back into your extension. In and out, round and press, round and press. Thinking of core, thinking of right side glute. Your left side glute is still working. It has stabilizers going on. Kicking back into that heel. We round and press. Four, three, two. Press it back. Hold that leg out in extension. We pulse into that heel. Let's go. It's only 10 seconds. We got this. We're going into our side plank work for the last time for this round. Three, two. Left forearm down. All right, we go right toes forward, big circle around to the back, forward and back. I am sweating over here. We are working hard. I love a bit of what body weight can do. Different variety of exercises you can add in that are definitely challenging. All right, we have four, four, you can add weight, three. Big arch around two and one. Arm extends overhead, elbow to knee, let's go. Finish this set off. You get a nice little rest after this. We're gonna go right into a little core, quick core circuit. It's gonna be two minutes of straight core. And then we go into our second starting. Three, two, one. Okay, grab a sip of water if you need it. We're going right into three, uh, three exercises. Okay, um, straight core, 20 seconds of consistent work per exercise. What are we starting with? Okay, we're gonna come into boat pose. We all know with boat pose, we can keep the heels down or we can elevate the feet. We're coming into a little arms down. We're gonna come into a nice little pump. You can join me because we're gonna get started in three, two, one. And I'm not gonna explain the other exercises. We have to save time today, team. We have too much work to do. All right, little arm pump here. Palms facing down, make sure you have that long spine. Heels to the floor if you can, or sorry, heels to the floor, or if you can, legs up, okay. Thinking of that core, thinking of long spine, you need knees coming into your chest, keep pumping those arms. Five, four, three, two. Onto your back, you're coming into a double pump scissor. Grab in behind your leg, one, two, pull it in, switch. One, two, pull it in. Now, if you have to bend that knee, you can. One, two, one, two. Think of core and chest lifting, not from your neck, you do not have the hands to support you. So you want to think of strong core. One, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, one, two. We have four, three, two, one. Hollow body. Maybe that's legs bent. Angel arms overhead. Angel arms to return. Angel arms overhead. Angel arms to return. If your legs are extended out, that low back is pressing. Big circle of those arms. Maybe the legs are slightly bent, but the low back is pressing. Four, 
three, keep lifting that chest, two, one, right back up to your boat, right back up to your boat, pump those arms. All right, so we've got three exercises, 20 seconds each, one minute of work remaining for your core, keep pumping through those arms, okay. Maybe your heels are down, holy, that's some serious heat through the core, three, double pump scissor legs, two, and one, come on back, one, two, switch one, two, pressing that low back, one, two, one, two, we've got our hollow body angel arms to finish this round in four, three, two, one, hollow body, maybe those legs are bent, all that matters is that the low back is pressing, that the chest is lifting from the core, don't pull on that neck, keep going, five, Big arms, four, three, two, and time. Okay, that is some serious heat through that core. That is gonna make another appearance after our next round. We come into another standing and tabletop round. Quick sip of water if you need it. All right, same thing, we're not gonna go through it all together. We are gonna just start with the first exercise, which is a big one this round. All right, we have Lateral lunge, double pump. Into reverse lunge, double pump. Into warrior three, double pump. What does that look like? Step out, one, two. Right away, step back, one, two. Right away, kick back, one, two. And then you're gonna drive that knee to prep for your second set. One, two, lateral. One, two, we're into reverse. One, two, warrior three, drive the knee in balance. Let's get started, team. Standing on your left leg, please. Right leg is gonna step out. Three, two, one, let's go. All right, right leg is stepping out. One, two, you can hold the weight at your chest. One, two, you're coming into warrior three, kick it back. One, two, I have my wall there and then we're driving that knee to stand. Right away, step it out. One, two, step it back. One, two, step, I'm sorry, lean forward, kick back in that heel. One, two, drive the knee and balance. Look at all these little combination and movements here. One, two out, one, two reverse, one, two warrior three, heel pulse, drive the knee in balance, keep that going. We're almost there. <clears throat> Step back, one, two, warrior three, one, two. Take your time on these as well. There's absolutely no need to rush. Make sure you're getting your deepest range of motion on the lateral, on that reverse. Nice stability for that warrior three and knee drive three. Two and one. All right, we're coming down into tabletop, but onto those forearms. Uh, we're working left side first. Forearms down, <clears throat> left side. We're coming into a leg lift, leg lift, rainbow, combo. All right, so it goes straight up and down, and then over to the right and back to the left. Straight up and down, over to the right, back to the left. Up and down, kick through that heel making sure the leg is staying locked out, up and down and over, up and down and over. Keep that going. Oh, we're really feeling those glutes today on that left side for here. Keep that going. Leg lift, <clears throat> rainbow, you're on your forearms. Over and up, five, four, three, two, and one, come onto that right forearm. Knees bent, please stack the knees, stack the feet. Lift open into your clamp and lower down. Open and lower, open and lower. You are trying to get that right hip away as much as possible from that floor and you're trying to open those knees as much as you can. Working both hips here, open and lower. Open, oh my goodness, and lower. Okay, where are we going to next? I love when I can't read my own writing. The color is terrible. Okay, we're, got, we're there, we're there. We got this. Three, two, and one. Come down to your right hip, right forearm. Straighten your legs back out. Lift your top leg, lift your uh, bottom leg to match. Lower to hover the bottom leg, match the top. Lift top, lift bottom. Lower bottom, lower top. Lift match, lower match. Lift match, lower match. Now the higher you lift that top leg, the harder it's gonna be. Maybe you're just doing a smaller movement, working on 
those hips and the inner thigh. We're almost there, team. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to your side plank. Side plank. You can be knees bent. You can be feet stacked staggered. You're reaching that left arm underneath and then open that top arm. Right arm is, uh, shoulder is over elbow. Open the left. Reach under the right side ribs. This is your last one for the side. Open it up. Exhale to wrap, reach. Big breath and open. Exhale to wrap. Five, four, oh, three, two, and one. Okay. Whoop. Getting our sweat on today. Come on up. We have all of that for the other side. Right foot stays down. We take that step out. Lateral. One, two. Into reverse. One, two. Into warrior three. Kick that heel. One, two. And then drive that knee. Lateral. One, two. Reverse. One, two. Warrior three. One, two. Drive the knee. You've got a big combo here. Make sure you're taking your time. Slower movement. Lateral one, two. Nice, Tyrion. Let's go fill up. Reverse one, two. Warrior three, one, two. Drive the knee to a pause. Now, try to see if you can challenge yourself to not tap the foot into your transition. So when you come from lateral, see if you can go right back to reverse. See if you can go right into your warrior three, into the knee drive. That's it, Matt. Nice job. Yes, Melinda. I see some good balance out there for everybody. So good, team. Last 10 seconds for the side. Lateral one, two. Reverse one, two. Woo. Balance one, two. Three, two, and one. Forearm tabletop. All right. We have leg lift on the right side. Right leg up and down, and then rainbow. Up and down and rainbow. All right, think of that heel press again. We want that full leg extension. Up and down and over, up and down and over. Let's go. Okay, how are we doing? Great for time. All right, keep moving here. We come into our side plank clam, and then we've got that little leg lift combo. And then we come back into that side plank and that first round is done. We go into a speed round to finish. Okay, three, two, and one. Left forearm comes down, those knees stack. We lift arm open as we open the knees. We lower back down, up and open. Now you could add in a little bit of a hover. If you want, that's gonna make it a little bit more challenging or you can add a hip tap at the bottom. Whatever feels better for you. Open it up, release. Open it up and release. All right. Oh, some serious, some serious core work, serious glute work. Four, three, two. Leave the left hip down. Extend those legs out. You are on left forearm, left hip. Lift the top leg, match the bottom. Lower the bottom to hover, match. Lift top, match. Lower, match. Okay. Lift, up, lower, up. You can have that right arm to support you at the front. That leg lift might not be very high and maybe you're doing lift, match, release, down. That's fine as well. If that's an awkward or hard position for you, that side, it's like a side hollow body position. Three, two, and one. Side plank, your choice. You can be on the knees to start. We're opening that arm, reaching under. You can stagger or stagger or stack those feet. Your choice. Open it up. Reach it under. Open it up. Reach it under. Maybe you're on that knee. Maybe you want to work that top leg in extension. That's also another option. I did not give it. That's a nice one as well. Four, three, two, and time. Rest water really quick. That's eight minutes of work straight. We take a nice little rest water. We cut that all into half to do that one more time speed version. We got this. All right, left side, option for body weight or weight, your choice. Left side stays rooted. We lateral reverse, worry three, knee drive through two, one, let's go. One, two, step it back to reverse. One, two, warrior three, heel kick. One, two, knee drive. All right, final time through for right side, left side. 
We're currently on left side, right side is moving, taking the steps out. Let's go. Lateral one, two, reverse one, two. Heel kick, one, two, drive the knee. Five, four, three, two, one. Tabletop, come on down. Left side is moving, forearms are on the floor. Leg lift, rainbow, leg lift, rainbow. Keep moving for that left side. You've got stablers on, stablers, stabilizers on the right. Leg lift, big arch over. Five, four, three, two. Side plank, clam, let's go team. Open it up, sack those knees, sack those feet, open and release. A nice little speed version to get through everything we've put a lot of time into. Lots of reps, lots of serious work. All right, it was going way too fast, I feel like, for some reason with Pilates, I don't know. Three, two, coming down to that right hip, right forearm, lift, match, lower, match. Those legs are moving. Let's go, lift, match, lower, match. Hover at the bottom or rest, your choice. Lift and match, lower and match, lift and match, lower and match. Three, two, side plank, stack, stagger, your knees, your choice. Open it up, reach it under. I like being on that knee and I like lifting that top leg. It's just another variation. You can have both knees down here. You're just reaching and opening up through chest and shoulder, getting into those right obliques. Five, four, three, Two, speed round goes by quick. Last time through all of that for the other side, right foot stays down, lateral lunge, step out, left, one, two, reverse, one, two, warrior three, one, two, drive that knee in balance. Let's go team, lateral, little pulse, one, two, reverse, one, two, warrior three, one, two, drive that knee, let's go team. All right, we are so close. You are almost there. The home stretch for this round. One, two at the each, one, two at each lateral reverse warrior three. Everybody looks fantastic. Four, three, two, and one. Forearm tabletop, come on down. You are on the left knee and that right leg is moving. Lateral leg lift over rainbow. Lateral up and down. Big rainbow over. Nice, fill up. Get that nice big movement. So your lateral, your sorry, your vertical leg lift. It's not a lateral leg lift. I don't know if I were. There we go. Matt's doing it. Yep. Big up and over. Nice. Let's see it. Fill up, up and down, and then up and over. Nice. Let's go, Tyrion. Let's go, Melinda. We look at team three, two, and one. Side plank. Stack the knees and feet. Not side plank, we're coming into clams, but you got a nice plank position on that left side. Open and lift. All right, we got two exercises to go. We go into that core series one more time and we got a little finisher today, okay. We got this. Four, three, two, left hip down, extend your legs. Top, match, bottom, match. Top, match, bottom, match. Take your time, no urgency to rush this, take your time and enjoy it. I feel like most of you are gonna hate this one. That's okay, no problem. The ones we hate are the hard ones. We always need a good little challenge. Three, two, side plank, your variation. We reach that top arm up and open, down and under, let's go. Okay, final one here. We have that nice little pour for two minutes. You're almost there, let's go team. Three, Two, we're not taking a rest. Go right into your boat. Go right into your boat. Pump those arms, palm down, heels down, or feet lifted, your choice. Little pumps of those arms. All right, so this is two more minutes. We're gonna be right on time. Two minutes, right here, not in the boat, don't worry. <laughs> Four, three, two, double pump scissors, come on back. Pull the leg in, one, two, one, two, one, two. You can bend those knees if you need to. Just grab in behind. One, two, one, two, let's go, let's go. We've got that hollow body angel arms in three, two, hollow body. Remember, legs can be um, 
knees can be over those hips. Angel arm, reach overhead, and then exhale those arms down, over and up. Those legs can be fully extended as long as that back stays flat to your mat. Four, three, two, both pose, arm pump, let's go, palms down. Final minute of core right here, pump those arms. I want to see you guys doing that work, pumping those arms, knees to chest if those feet are elevated. The arms, the whole arm is pumping, the whole arm is, there we go. Philip was flying like a little bird. <laughs> he hates me right now. Three, that's okay. Two, double pump those legs, come on back, let's go. One, two, pull it in, one, two, switch, one, two. One, two, press that low back. Let's go. Big, you're getting a nice little hamstring stretch on this one as well, right? <laughs> press that low back. Three, Alyssa will like that comment. Two, hollow body, angel arms, big arms up. Come on to your back, come on to your back. Yes, okay. Legs are elevated. Doesn't matter where they are. Just as far out as you can while pressing that low back. Angel the arms up, exhale them down. Let's go, big reach, exhale, nice work team. Three, two, and time, so good, okay. So we didn't get a rest after that other round because we need to save some time. Now we can get a rest and we come into our finisher. Grab a piece of the water. This is where your band is gonna come into play. All right, we're gonna work the back body. We're gonna work shoulders and core. All right, band is gonna start around those wrists or you can take it around the fingertips. We're gonna come into our um, back extensions with a band pull. So if I was on my belly, I'm gonna lift and pull lower. Lift and pull lower, pretend that I'm laying down. That's not, we're not doing it on our knees, don't worry. All right, then if your band is not around your wrist, you can put it there. We're coming into plank, jacks, or you can tap right, tap left. I'm not going through it because we're gonna save time. Then we're coming into two other exercises. Come on down to your mat. This is it, team. Two minutes of work, and you are done. Three, two, one. Let's go. Back extensions. And if that feels uncomfortable for the shoulders, take the band off. Lift and pull lower. Lift and pull lower. Your final two minutes of work right here. Make it a good one. Nice extension. Lifting through that back body. You've got resistance on the upper. Five, four, three, two. Make your way to your plank. Let's go. All right, jack or tap those toes in and out. Jumping or tapping, your choice. If you would prefer to just tap right, tap left, just make sure those shoulders are over those wrists. Okay, keep that band around the wrists. We're gonna drop to forearm plank in three, two, one. Forearm plank down, but I want you to think of the elbows as your pivot point and then pull your band. So you're in fists. Your band is around your wrist, forearm plank, pull that band. Oh, that should fire up those shoulders. Breathe and pull, breathe and pull. You can even be in tabletop doing that. Pull, oh, that's hard. Five, four, three, two, one. You're coming into push up on the knees or on the toes. Tap the hands out to a T, come back up. Let's go, as many as you can. Tap out, push, tap out. Push on the knees, on the toes, your choice, holy shoulders to finish, and lots of core. Five, four, three, two, one more time, team. Band around those wrists, let's go. Back extensions, lower, lift, pull, lower, let's go. Final, little bit of time here. You've got this work, let's go. Lift and lower from that back. Four, squeeze, three, two, one, plank jacks or taps, let's go. Right away, transition as quickly as you can. Tapping or jumping those toes, your choice. Whatever variation, just make sure those shoulders are over the wrist. You can even just hold a straight arm plank. Just work, let's go. Three, two, forearm plank back down. Think of those elbows as your point. Now pull the fists apart from one another. You should have tons of tension on that band. Ah, let's go. Elbows should be narrower than your fists, if that makes sense. Elbows in, fists out. Four, yes, three, two, final one. Push up, release to T. Push up, release to T. Tap those hands out nice and wide. 
Get your full T, get your full arm extension out. Let's go. On the knees, on the toes, it does not matter. Core is active. As many reps as you can here, team. Big push to finish. Let's go. Tap it out. And up. Out and up. Five, four, three, two. Time. Oh, my triceps on that for some reason. Holy Hannah. Amazing, amazing job, you guys. Okay, we were one minute over, but I would say that we started one minute late. So otherwise, we were right on time. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Was that fun? Yeah, I love a good, I love a good body weight. Let's, you get a lot of different variety and reps in right there. Oh, that was fun. Sweaty. Give me a flex. Give me a high five. Yeah, love it. Uh, and today's was the last one before the holidays. I had to think about that for a second because we have Christmas just around the corner. Um, but there's a few next week and we're going to add in back the yoga that I missed on whatever day that was Monday, Monday, I think it was. Yeah, I don't know. It was a blur of days. We are going to do a quick little cool down. If you have time to stick around for that, if you do not have a wonderful weekend, happy Friday, Merry Christmas, all of that good stuff. Um, but let's do a nice little cool down. I have a good little sweat on there. That was awesome. Okay. We'll do our nice cool down and then you are a free you are a free bird. Okay, start in standing with those feet hip distance apart. Take a nice big breath in. Reach those arms all the way up overhead and then exhale, release that down. All right, do that again. Big breath in. Grab a hold of right wrist, pull it over to the left. Option to keep those feet as they are. If that feels good, you can also cross that right, right ankle in front. Take your gaze underneath the back right arm. Open up that whole right side body. That should feel good. Take a big breath in. And then release that side. So good. Okay, other side. Big breath in. Grab a hold of the left wrist, pull it over to the right. Option again, just keep the feet as they are or cross that left ankle in front. Breathing into that left side body for three, for two, and for one. Making our way onto our back. If your heart rate still seems a little bit high, mine is because breathing is hard over here. <laughs> Make your way onto your back, plug your knees into your chest once you were there. Take a sip of water if you need to before you make your way down. Hug your knees into your chest, maybe giving yourself a nice little rock from right to left. Close your eyes, relax your face. We'll extend that right leg out nice and long, keeping the, sorry, left leg out nice and long. Right knee is going to stay in. We'll just give ourselves some nice big ankle rotations here. We did have lots of stabilizing things going on, lots of foot extension and, and flexion going on. Change your direction, go the opposite way. So good. Let's take the left hand to the outside of the right knee, right arm to a big T. Hug that knee in first, bring it as close to your body as you can, and then over to the left side of your space. Really focus on breathing into that right hip and glute. The closer your knee is to your body, oh, the more you're going to get into that right side glute. Taking a couple of nice cycles of breath there. That feels so good. And then on your next inhale, when you are ready, we'll come back in through center. I could stay there a little longer. Left leg bends, left foot plants, and then extend your right heel up, <laughs> excuse me, to the sky ceiling. Flex in those right toes as much as you can. Get a nice stretch through the back of that leg. Wherever your hands are, just giving that nice little tension, nice little pull, really flex those toes in. And then on your next breath in, lift head, neck, and shoulders. Give yourself a final little pull there. And then cross that right ankle above the left knee. Open that right knee away from the body. Now, for some of us, that's a beautiful stretch just there. Let's lift the left foot off of the mat, coming into your figure four. You can interlace those hands in behind that left leg. If the hips aren't too tight, you can keep the hands to the knee and foot if you'd like. Just breathing there into that right hip. The more you drive that right knee, open it away from the body, the more you're going to get that nice stretch for the right side. Okay, take one more big breath in, lift head, neck, and shoulders, chest towards shin. And then slowly release that down. Take your feet nice and wide. Give yourself some slow windshield wipers. Drop the knees to the right, drop them over to the left. Do that one more time. Over to the right, and over to the left. Good. From here, we'll drive the left knee in towards the chest, right leg can extend out. We'll do all of that for the other side. Starting with those ankle rotations for that left side. 
That feels so good. Oh, there we go. Nice little pops. Okay, change the direction if you have not. Nice and slow, nice and big. And we'll take that right hand to the outside of the left knee, left arm to a nice big T. Pull the left knee in and over to the right side of the space. Remember, the more you bring that knee in towards your body, the more you're going to feel that beautiful stretch through that glute and hip. We did some serious glute work today, team. Love that. Big breath in, big breath out. So good. Let's come back in through center on your next inhale. Bend the right leg, plant the right foot, lift that left heel up towards sky ceiling, flex through those toes, coming into that nice hamstring stretch. I always say sky ceiling, and I notice that <laughs> no one's outside, but whatever. <laughs> it's a habit. Okay. Sometimes in the summer, we have people that work out, work out in the outdoors, which is nice. Let's lift the head, neck, and shoulders for one final hamstring stretch here. And then we'll cross that left ankle above the right knee. When you are ready, open that left knee. Oh, that feels good. Lift the right foot off of the floor, coming into your figure four. All right, so the goal here is, that remember, we want that left knee opening away as much as possible. Nothing forced here. You just want to have that slight little active opening from that hip. Both feet should be flexed. Hang out here, breathe. <clears throat> Let's take one more big breath in, lift chest towards that shin. And then we'll slowly release that down. Take those feet wide one more time. Windshield wiper those knees from right to left one more time. Nice and slow. Enjoy that. Get into the hips, the low back, all of the things. And then from here, We'll take those knees in towards the chest, take the hands in behind the legs this time. Give yourself a couple of rocks along that spine, making your way up to a nice seated position. Extend those legs out straight, flex through those toes. We'll take a nice big inhale, reach the arms all the way up when you are ready. Oh, exhale, releasing forward, fold over those legs, grabbing toes, ankles, shins, whatever feels good for you, just giving that nice stretch through the backs of those legs. Releasing all of the back body here. Breathing for three. For two. And for one. Amazing, amazing job. Oh, what a good way to finish. We're not finished the year yet. We still have some work to do next week. <laughs> but a good way to finish the week for this week. Um, I hope you guys have a very, very, very Merry Christmas. And we'll see you again next week. I'll send out some links soon. Bye, everybody. Oh, my email popped up. Perfect timing. <laughs> Bye, guys.